to sort of this uh, regional escalation of military activities. And we see this already unfolding because, as it seems and as has been proven, the U.S. would rather spark and instigate a regional conflict, potentially even, you know, uh, putting the entire region on a precipice of World War III, whereas, on the other hand, they can just simply eliminate this threat by ending the war on Gaza, bringing an end to the bloodshed that is happening on the besieged Gazans. So I think it's a little bit of both to answer your question directly. I think the situation is unfortunate. unfortunately going to have to get worse in terms of more military activities, more targeting, more uh, countries, right. sort of, uh, you know, these you, resistance movements. Yusuf, you, you, you make a big accusation against the United States that it's at the pacifist of actually uh, breaking out World War Three in the region. What do you think Washington is gaining out of this? Well, I think they're securing their international global domination and foreign policies in the Middle East. You know, they're still they're still occupying parts of Iraq. They're still in Syria, plundering the country's natural resources. And what's you know, on top of that, they want to secure the Red Sea and they want to secure the Bab el Mendeb Strait so that Israel can be enabled to continue its uh, military offensive and continue its occupation of the Gaza Strip. And this is something that's not going to be accepted by countries like uh, Yemen, by countries like Iran, by the uh, you know axis of resistance that we are seeing uh, take shape. Because what is very clear is that the mass population in the Arab world, in the Muslim world, they want to end U.S. military presence in their land. They want to see U.S. military bases cease to exist which is why we are seeing these attacks from Syria, from Iraq, on U.S. military bases. The Ansar al Houthis here in Yemen, they're not only threatening to target more U.S. and British ships, they're also threatening to target more military bases, not just in Yemen, but across the Middle East. So this is why okay. I, you know, I'm very careful.